the magical, the mystical, the mythical, the legend that is... Today we've got a bottle of the legend that's the Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. Now, this is the presentation box. This is the 2019 version. So let's open up the presentation box, like so. And what do you get? You get your bottle of your beer and the glass. So let's get the bottle of beer out. Goose Island, Bourbon County, 2019 brand stout coming in at 15.2% ABV. So there's the bottle. And if we can get it out, here's the glass with the 2019 on there. Fantastic looking stout glass there. Now, this, this presentation pack, I picked up from Beerhawk, and it was $29.99. Um, they do the bottles, just the bottle, and that's 20 pound. Um, but what you gotta realize, this is just a limited run. Um, very few bottles of this actually make their way to England. So, it's a bit like rocking or shit to get hold of. But if you do want a bottle, get onto beer or quick and get one. So, shall we open it up? You know, this is this is probably one of the, the most sought after, talked about beers in the world. Every year they release this, this stout and there's queues apparently up and down the street, round the block, um, queuing to get themselves a bottle of this. Um, <coughs> it's mythical, it's just, it's one of these beers I think you have to try before you die. Um, so, let's crack it open, and we'll give it a try. I'll just take I want to keep this bottle, you see, so I'm just uh, prising the lid off slowly because I want the lid to go back on the bottle to display it in here somewhere. So, we've got it open. Let's get it in the glass. Well, there it is in the glass. It's jet black, it's got a half finger, sort of caramel coloured head. There's a bit of carbonation there, but it's, it's, it's black as the ace of spades, and it? it's yeah, it, it's really, really <laughs> dark for, for a stout. Um, you can usually sort of, at the bottom of the glass, see a little bit through or something like that. But this is, you know, this is the only way to describe it. The old saying, black as the ace of spades. Um, yeah, let's get the aromas. There's cocoa, caramel, vanilla pods, bourbon whiskey, fresh leather, tobacco, cigar tobacco. Um, yes, it's got a lot of complex aromas to this beer. Oh, 
every time you go in and, and, and smell it, you're getting more different complex flavours. This is a really, really complex beer. I can actually pick up notes of, I don't know how much of you know about when they build a barrel. When they build these oak barrels, when they've built them, they actually set fire to them on the inside and that is to um, help the wood um, come sort of watertight really um, and you can actually smell that, that sort of burntness a little bit that smokiness yeah it's very interesting um, apparently they They've aged this in a mix of uh, wild turkey, heaven hill, and buffalo um, trace barrels, which are all bourbon. Well, one of only one I've ever heard of, believe it or not, is wild turkey. I haven't heard of the uh, the other two, heaven hill and buffalo trace. So you know they're they're two they're two new sort of bourbons to me. But wild turkey is quite a well known uh, um, bur bourbon. smell of this is just it's just outstanding it's yeah you know you're gonna have a good beer here the complex of that of that aroma um, and what's dancing around and um, I think it's time to dive in and give it a try cheers First thing I've noticed with this, it's like velvet in your mouth. It's beautiful. It's velvety. It's creamy. Oh, really? That's coated the inside of my mouth. Um. I've never experienced it, anything like this with a stout before. Um, it's coated the inside of my mouth, similar to like, like, like Bailey's does, you know, um, when you have a, like, ba I like Bailey's on ice, you know, at Christmas time, I don't mind a glass of Bailey's on ice. You know how Bailey sort of coats the inside of your mouth, that creaminess to it? Oh, it's exactly the same with this beer. Fantastic. Now, someone did actually tell me this. That do not describe the flavours of this beer until you've had about three or four sips. And he's right, because the first sip and the second sip tastes completely different. So I'm going to give it a couple more sips and then I'm going to tell you what I'm experiencing the flavours of this, this beer. And it is a sipping beer as you can see. It's, you're not going to take gulps of this, you're not going to gulp it down. The most predominant flavour I am getting here in, in this is cocoa. Really, really rich cocoa though. It's so rich and creamy. So after that initial cocoa, you're not getting the hits of vanilla. And as soon as the hits of vanilla come along, then you're getting sort of like a, 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 a sweet caramel fudge. 
and the creaminess of this could be likened to the fudge because you know when you eat fudge it's quite a creamy um, texture isn't it when you, you, you chew on fudge you know you get, you, your mouth gets creamy and this is a similar creaminess is to eating fudge towards the back end you're getting sort of a, the, the leather fine cigar back end to it um, I can liken it to cigars because I used to smoke fine cigars so you know you find the Cuban you know cigars like your Cohibas <coughs> um, very much back end like a Cohiba which had a more sort of robust sort of taste to it a more sort of smoky taste to it a more sort of leathery taste to it um, yeah I think this is as I keep sipping I'll discover more flavours more complexes to this beer definitely gets better on every sip. Now this is a 15.2 ABV beer. I'm not even feeling it. The alcohol is so well hidden in this. Um, it feels like I'm drinking a 5% stout and it's worrying really um, that this is this is the strongest beer that we've reviewed on the channel so far and it feels like a 5% beer um, up until this one here I had a, um, a stout when I was in the Netherlands and I think that was 14% and that had been like the strongest beer I'd ever had and this is this is the strongest beer I've ever had and you know um, it doesn't even feel like you're drinking it It's a work of art. It seriously is a work of art. It is. It's pure pleasure to be honest to drink this. And it's the right time of year. It's getting Christmassy, you know, cold winter nights, that sort of thing. And you've got a fantastic stout like this. Um, it's blown. It's actually. I knew it was good, and heard it was good, but I didn't know it's as good as this. Um, you know, this is a five out of five, a ten out of ten, a hundred out of hundred, whatever you want to call it. Right? Um, there is no faults to this beer, and some of you might say. Oh yeah, but it's 20 quid a bottle. I've got to tell you this now. It's well worth 20 quid a bottle. And a matter of fact, what you have to do is you look at it at 15.2%. So break that down into three five percent and divide that by three. The 20 quid. Which then works out at about give or take um, let's get me maths head on here which is six sixty six a bottle thereabouts isn't it thereabouts six sixty six so think of that, a 5% beer, £6.66, when people are paying 5, 6, 7 quids for, uh, for some of these cans of craft beer, I think you're getting three drinks 
I think this for 20 quid that's worth three drinks because it's 15.2%. Um, that's the way I look at it. This is this is a beer that you're probably only going to have one bottle of this in a whole of an evening. You're going to sit there and you're going to slowly sip it and you're going to slowly enjoy it. Um, and it'll probably take you as long to drink this as what it would to sink four pints of beer down your local pub at five or a pint. So that's the way you've got to look at the price of this beer. Um, and then it becomes rational to go out and buy it and try it and enjoy it. So that's that's all I can say is, you know, even you know, Christmas coming up, people want to buy you gifts. Just tell them, go on Beer Hawk and get me a bottle of this for 20 quid. That's your gift sorted and then you'll be a happy chappy on Christmas Day when you open up the parcel and find one of these, isn't it? You know, um, seriously, do it. This, this, this would be, um, and I'll tell you, all my subscribers here, right, and anyone watching this, this would be the ideal beer to sip Christmas evening. You've had your dinner, you probably had a glass of wine with your dinner, you might have had a beer, blah, blah, blah. Right, you want to just sit down and chill in front of the telly, the fire on, the heating on, and that sort of thing. Just sit there and chill. There you go. This is your glass of beer to do it with. Seriously, this is seriously good. Um, I don't know. I can't. I don't know what else to say about this beer. It's a shame you're not here with me, experiencing it and trying it because it's out of this world. It's just, it's perfection. And I might upset a few people here. I reckon this is the best stout in the world. I want to say I'm going to upset a few people. Is there's a lot of hatred towards AB and Bev in the industry. You know, there's people out there, these craft beer nerds, right, who, as soon as you talk about or review or anything, any beer from AB and Bev that AB and Bev own, apparently um, you're not credible anymore or anything like that, right? Funny thing is, this. Goose Island is owned by AB and Bev. And these same hypocrites every year are queuing up to get hold of the latest bottle of Bourbon County when it's released. And these are the same people that are slagging off AB and Bev all year round. And I find it quite comical, you know what I mean? I find, I find it hilarious. And that's why I'm making a statement and in my opinion, this is the best stout in the world. Um, if you like your stouts, bite your lip, pay the 20 quid or stick it on your Christmas list um, for someone to buy you. And I'm also going to mention uh, my friend Scott from Wonder Beer Wonder because he loves a stout. And all I can say, Scott, I hope you got one, a bottle of this on your Christmas list for someone to buy it because uh, seriously, you're gonna, you would love this. You'd love to review this with Wanda. I'm even going to say um, a challenge out to you, Scott, that if you get hold of a bottle of this and review it on your channel, that Wanda will suddenly like stout. So there you go. Anyway, all you subscribers. Get hold of a bottle of it, please. Do yourself a favour. Get hold of a bottle of it for Christmas. You you will not be disappointed, and you're going to thank me for it. Um, this is a beer you've got to try before you die. Get hold of a bottle. Leave a comment below. Um, hit that little bell. Give us a big thumbs up. And obviously subscribe to the channel because that you subscribers we're nothing. And like I always say.
Beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.